Hey, what's up guys? This is Kevin and in this video, we're going to be going over Facebook's new social plugins that are badass. These are going to help you crush it when it comes to marketing your website or I should say allowing other people to market your website for you. Here's the deal. As you can see here, there's a whole arsenal of new tools that we're going to be able to use and in this video here, we're going to be going over the like button. Okay, and as it says here, the like button lets users share pages from your site back to their Facebook profile with one click. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on that like button and if you uh, if you don't know, all you got to do is go to developers.facebook.com slash plugins. That's developers.facebook.com slash plugins. It'll bring you right to Facebook's uh, developers area. And then you're going to go into the social plugins, okay? We're going to click on the like button here. And once we do that, this is so easy. It's really not even that funny. Uh, a child could do it, okay? As you can see here, I've already clicked the like button, okay? Now, not only can you click the like button, but look what happens when I hover my mouse, okay? I could share it on Facebook with a comment. So I could say, hey, check out, check out Facebook's new social plugins, all right? Kick ass. So now, all I gotta do is post that to Facebook, and within seconds, okay, on my profile, which you're gonna see right about here, if we go back to my profile, we refresh this page, watch what's gonna happen, okay? Look at that, isn't that something? It has a post with a link to that page, allowing everyone that I, on, allowing all of my 3,953 friends the ability to go check it out and add it to their website, all right? It's that freaking cool now the best part about it is people can share it with their friends and so on so imagine if that was your web page right there okay imagine if your fans come to your site they click like now it shows up on their page and what you want to do is show them how to add uh, a comment so that it shows up like this instead of let me bring this down here uh uh, it's really not show. Oh, actually, right here. Okay, if I go back to Kevin and friends, here you can see Kevin likes comments slash Facebook developers. Okay, so you know instead of just seeing something like that, they're gonna see something like this if they leave the comment. But hey, I'll take that. You know, no problems. I'll take that over nothing any any day of the week. So now, like I said, we're gonna click on this like button. We're gonna come over here. So now let's add this to our website. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you how to add it to a WordPress blog in seconds. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add the URL you want to send people to, okay? What's the URL that people are going to uh, be able to like? Where are you going to put this, okay? So I'm going to put facebookformers.com slash blog. That's my blog for Facebook formulas. Now you could choose a different standout, which would be button count, or you can do standard, all right? Then over here, uh, you could choose if you want to show the faces of the people who have already clicked like, which I think is a great idea so that maybe somebody's going to see one of their friends already liked it and that might give them the incent incentive to go and like it also, okay? Now, over here, width. If you're going to be putting it on a WordPress blog, I would suggest you go with something around 350, all right? Uh, the only reason I say that is because, as you'll see here, you see how I, at first I had 400, uh, but you can see that's getting cut off. So it's really up to you. It's not that big of a deal, but you know you might want to go with 450. But uh, I mean 350. But the thing is, the like button uh, it stays the same size, I believe. Now over here, you can display like or recommend. Okay. Now recommend, I believe, is going to be you know maybe pushing it a little too far. Like uh, you know you don't want somebody to have to recommend it to their friends. It's not something that that would have to be something when you phrase it like that. You know you're asking them to recommend this to their friends. Whereas when it says like, basically all you're doing is, hey, do you like this? You know what I mean? They don't even realize how they're going to actually going to be recommending it for you. All right. They don't realize that, but we do. That's the advantage we get. And it just, you know, it's all about getting our fans, our readers to interact with us. And this is a way for them to do it. Okay. Um, now over here, you could choose a different font. To be honest with you, uh, you know, you can go through each of these, but they're pretty much all going to look exactly the same. All right. Actually, the Arial uh, to the third one there, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. 
you know, you, you could tell they're, they're pretty much all the same, all right? They're going to look the same. However, some uh, might see, like, the aerial might be uh, shorter, so you might actually be able to fit it in uh, the little um, sidebar we're going to be doing. Then you can have a light or a dock button, okay? The dock just looks too faded out for me. I like the like the light button uh, that, you know, kind of has the outline that's dock of blue. I like that, so we're going to go with that. We're going to click on Get Code and watch this. We're going to click on all that iframe okay we're going to highlight and copy that then we're going to come over to our widgets all right so you're going to sign into your wordpress blog you're going to go to appearance you're going to click on widgets and then all we're going to do is drag one of these text boxes right into your your sidebar okay now i've already done that and uh but what i did was i deleted it so you could see me actually paste it in so what i did is i gave it a title that just says hey show your friends what you like uh, you know, you don't have to put that. You can name it whatever you want, but it's just to draw a little bit more attention with the title than uh, if it has no title. Now, all I'm going to do is paste that in, and that's it. We are absolutely done. That's all there is to it. Now, we're going to come over here to uh, facebookformers.com slash blog. We're going to refresh this, okay? Now, you should see that it's it's smaller. Now, do you see how it got smaller? Um I actually don't like that. I really don't like how it got smaller. So what I might do is come back over here, click on done, come down, and uh, what I might do is change this to button count, and I might change that back to 450, and let me do get code, and let's see what happens now. Now, I'm just fooling around with this. Obviously, you've already learned what you need to learn. I'm just going this extra step just so you know you could see me doing it so you could see the difference uh, in changing the size and the button type. Okay, so now if you do that, uh, if you change it to just button count, then what's going to happen is it's just going to show the button. But it's got the little Facebook logo. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, so it's really up to you. Uh, if we do, again, if we go to standard, it doesn't have the little Facebook logo. But it does say, be the first of your friends to like this. That's kind of cool. So what I might do is keep it at 450, but keep it at that. I'll let it get cut off uh, like it was before. And now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to click copy. Now, another thing I could do is because it's getting cut off. Okay, you see how, uh, you know, because it gets cut off, what I can always do is I can always add it myself, right? Be the first to... Uh, share this with your friends. All right. Now, I actually do not know how this will play out when it comes to um, when it comes to you know once their faces start showing up. But I, you know, that looks really plain. And uh, you know, see right here where it says "Be the first to share that with your friends." So you know, and then over here, I want to name this again. Show your friends. Show your friends what you like. All right, so let's click on save. All right, and let's bring that up. Oh, let's bring this up another line. Click on save. Come back over here. Now we're refreshing. Now watch the difference with the title. See the title there? Show your friends what you like. It's got the like button. Be the first to share this with your friends. Really cool. Now it actually already gives enough space for the faces, so that's not going to be an issue. So, guys awesome thing for you to be using go take advantage of it right now and this is just one of the many many plugins that we now have available to us absolutely free and really really easy to add all over the place okay here's a like box that enables users to like your facebook fan page and it views it streamed directly from your website okay really badass stuff guys and we're going to take advantage of every single one of them. I'll be putting out a series of uh, videos. And this is just the first of many to come. Okay? Uh, but especially covering the social plugins. That's it for this video. Hope you like it. Hope to see you using these on your website. And I hope to see your comments and you hitting up the like button on my site. And also throwing in some comments for me if you appreciate this video or any of my trainings. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.